Hi, I'm William Malik, and this is today's bit of security for March 13th, 2024. We're going to talk a little bit about identity theft and the difference between identification and authentication. During the, one of my presentations during my Gartner years, I asked the audience how many of them ever had anything stolen. A lot of hands went up. And then I asked, well, how did you know? that it was stolen? And the answer was of the form, well, I looked for it and it wasn't there. Identity theft is a little different. You're still there. The problem is somebody has copied your identity and is using it elsewhere. One of the earliest recorded instances of identity theft in the US is from 1903. Edith Wharton was a very popular novelist, and some of her novels generated a great deal of conversation. And there were actually a series of lectures in New York explaining the novels of Edith Wharton, and she would come in person and present that information. The problem was that the person who was speaking, pretending to be Edith Wharton, actually wasn't. The publisher of her novels asked Edith if she could provide them with a photograph of her, which appeared on the back covers of her books to allow people to say, oh, not only is this a book by Edith Wharton, but here's what Edith Wharton looks like, thereby putting a stop to that kind of identity theft. The reason I bring this up is that identity is a different concept from authentication. And I would like to propose that biometric identification should not be confused with an authentication method. You can copy my likeness. You can copy my voice. If you have a high resolution video camera, you can copy my iris. And all of those techniques can be used to impersonate me, which is why I would suggest that we not use biometric evidence as an authentication technology at all, but simply as a way to identify somebody. Authentication has to be some other method, and there has to be a way to conditionally accept or deny an authentication method. This will bear in further discussions about uh, multi-factor authentication and about protecting against identity theft. Stay safe out there. I hope this has been a thought-provoking bit of security. I'm William Malik.